Like most weekends, it's going to be a busy one in downtown Austin. We've already told you about the Fun, Fun, Fun Fest out at Waterloo Park. There's something called Barkitecture on 2nd Street and a mobile food trailer festival at Auditorium Shores. Those three things promise to make an already difficult parking situation even worse. And all new here at 6, KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackleman joins us live from downtown to tell us what the city council might be doing to help make parking a little bit easier in the future downtown. Reagan? Well, Leslie and Robert, we are here in downtown Austin at Austin City Hall. And trust me, as someone who comes here every single day, trying to find a parking spot here on the street can be almost impossible. Now, there is a parking garage right underneath my feet at City Hall. Uh, it's about three stories. It's about three stories. It has a lot of parking spaces. But the problem is, like other garages here in town, a lot of people don't know that the parking garage here at City Hall is actually open to the public. A trip to downtown Austin usually means spending a good chunk of time looking for a place to park. Some give up and shell out a good chunk of change for paid parking. That one time when we were coming down here to eat at one of the, one of the Mexican restaurants, we spent 45 minutes looking for a place to park. The problem, according to some drivers, they really don't know where they can park. It's a bit of a challenge. I mean, there's not good uh, signage directing you where there's parking or not. According to the city, the lack of parking spaces is not the problem. City numbers say there are 4,300 on-street parking spots and roughly 14,000 garage spots. The trouble is, we, even though we have a fairly large supply of parking downtown, it's not always easy to find, and it's, not, uh, it's just not marketed in a way that's convenient to people. Hoping to make it easier to find a coveted parking spot, later this month the city council will take a vote on whether or not to start a study to examine the downtown parking problem and ways to fix it. Other cities are doing things with apps on iPhones and all sorts of innovative technologies to make it more convenient to, to find a, a, um, a safe, convenient, and affordable parking space downtown. And so we should be undertaking similar efforts here. If passed, the city will also compile a list of garages, both public and private. The list will include which garages are open to the public, how much it costs to park there, and how long you can park. We do want you downtown, and we've got plenty of parking for you, and, and, and it'll be easy for you to come down and find a convenient parking space. It should take a few months for the results to be finished. Until then, one frustrated parker we spoke with had some good advice. You just, just go with it. If you want, if you want to be down there, you just got to deal with it. Now, Councilmember Riley tells us that this study, if it passes, will not cost the city any money. They will utilize internal city staff to actually conduct the study. He also tells us that part of this study will probably include looking at whether or not the city should extend parking meter hours in the downtown area. Reporting live from Austin City Hall, Reagan Hackleman, KXA and Austin News.